Hi friends, welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna be doing something kind of fun. I'm excited to share. I got a... Um, I got a um, nail art brush set at some random dollar store I went to. So I just wanted to make some art with it. And also I had uh, some um, card scraps sitting around that I wanted to use. They're textured, they're supposed to be acid free. So I thought, well, I'm gonna go ahead and combine the two. I wanted to uh, use my gouache that I have been enjoying lately, my Winsor Newton Designers gouache. So that's more or less what I'm gonna be doing. Since the brushes are so small, because they're meant for nail art, um, I'm just gonna be doing like a miniature <laughs> type of thing um, and first I just took a little piece of, uh, of the card to see how the gouache and, and brushes would you know um, do on this type of paper and it worked it did really good um, those uh, card scraps I got them at uh, Dollar Tree I think uh, it's in one of my hauls uh, I think it was a Dollar Tree store and I am amazed by how good they behaved. Um, and I just went ahead and I painted a little uh, landscape. I don't know, I had uh, something like a sunrise in the spring, in the mountains, something like that. That's what I, was, what I had on my mind. Sunrise is my favorite part of the day. <laughs> So I just went ahead and I, I tried to paint something very simple. Not, I didn't put a lot of uh, detail and stuff. And the brushes were kind of good. Uh, like to do detail work or small, like miniature type of work. They're wonderful. And um, they, they don't pack a lot of paint. But I mean, they're s supposed to be used with nail polish. So <laughs> I get that. Um, but, um, I did struggle a little bit, you know, to be able to get some textures and stuff because, uh, I mean, they're not like, uh, proper artist brushes, but, uh, you know, I love my challenges, so I did enjoy making this little landscape. And, um, I think I'm going to be making more of these. I want to use up all those little, uh, cards scraps I have them in um, all kinds of colors and textures so maybe next time I think I'm gonna do like a portrait or something I, I, th I don't think I've done a portrait on this channel um, so yeah maybe I should do that next but uh, yeah the uh, I, I just paint something by imagination I don't know maybe this landscape makes no sense whatsoever because I think there's a little bit of snow in the mountains and then there's uh, gonna be like a flower some kind of flower field <laughs> um, but again I was thinking on um, a sunrise in the spring in the mountains I guess I'm sick of the winter I just I can't wait for spring and and warm weather it's been brutal this winter everywhere <laughs> so I tried to use all the brushes on the set um, uh, that fun brush was so much fun to work with that's a little tip by the way for landscape fun brushes um, they're awesome to create the illusion of uh, flower fields and, or grass field so there's a tip for you I couldn't use the dotting tool. I tried to, but it didn't really go with the rest of it. But I'm gonna try and make something else with using these brushes, where I can get to use all of them, like including the dotting tool. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think I'm gonna try and make a portrait next time, just for change, right? Um, so yeah. I think it's a uh, it's, it's a really fun uh, art hack, if you will. <laughs> Nail art brushes, very inexpensive, very sturdy uh, for the price. I mean, can't complain. <laughs> I 
But yeah, I'm very happy with them and we're gonna be doing more. So stay tuned to all the new subscribers. Welcome. I'm very happy to have you. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.